today we are going to be learning how to use Open Broadcaster software. Open Broadcaster is a free software which can be used to make screencasts. We can make recordings of what's on our computer screen so that we can create tutorials and lessons. In fact, at the time of this recording, all screencasts used in my tutorials have been recorded with Open Broadcaster software. The first step before we begin recording is to change some of the settings. In the bottom right hand of the application, click on Settings. Now, in the left hand menu, click on Output. First, let's check the recording path. This is where the videos will be saved when we create them. We can change this if we want the videos stored somewhere else. Here's a tip. If you don't change the recording path, it may be a good idea to write it down so that you can find your videos later. I'm going to click Browse, and I'm going to navigate to my desktop. Then click Open. By saving the videos to the desktop, I can find them easily while making this video. Also, we want to change the recording format. FLV is the default. We are going to change it because Windows and Apple computers do not come with software to play the FLV file type. Change the file type to MP4, an industry standard that should be playable on most computers. In the left hand menu, click on Video. Set both base resolution and output resolution to 1920 by 1080. This will ensure we are recording in high definition quality. We are now done changing the settings. In the bottom right, click OK. Now that our settings are good to go, let's talk about scenes and sources. Before we record, we will set up our scenes and sources. Sources are the things we can record. Examples of things that we can record include windows that are open on your computer, videos, or everything displayed on your computer monitor. If we want to be recording multiple sources at the same time or alternate between these sources, we can set up scenes. Changing between the scenes that we have configured changes the source that is being recorded. Let's configure our first source. In the Sources menu box, click on the plus sign to add a source. We're going to select Display Capture. We're going to keep the default name and click OK. Now we have a screen that shows the preview of what we will be recording. Make sure we have the Show Cursor checkbox selected. Then click OK. Now, if the recording is not centered in the preview screen, right click on the preview. Select Transform, then select Fit to Screen. Now, if we click the Start Recording button, we will be recording everything we do on the display. If we have a microphone connected to our computer, we will also be recording audio. We can open web pages, install applications, configure settings. We can make audible comments and it will be all recorded. When we finish, we can click Stop Recording. Our recording will then appear in the location that we selected earlier. For me, it's my desktop. We can then double click and play it. Now let's go back into Open Broadcaster software and add another scene and add another source. While we are recording, we can easily switch between scenes. Click the plus sign in the scenes box and name the scene Web Browser. Then click OK. We are going to have a website be our second source. So let's open a web browser and go to the website 
obsproject.com. Leave the window up and then go back into Open Broadcaster. Make sure the web browser scene is selected. Then in the sources box, click on the plus sign. Select window capture. Change the name to web browser source and click OK. Now we have to select the window. Select your browser with the title Open Broadcaster Software Index and then click OK. In the preview screen, you can see the content is not centered. To fix that, right click on the preview. Select Transform, then select Fit to Screen. Now we have two scenes, each with their own source. To flip between them, we could simply click on the different scenes in the open broadcaster software while recording. This will work, but studio mode is better for this. In the bottom right hand corner, click on the studio mode button. In the left hand preview box, you can preview your scenes. The right hand box shows what you are currently recording. Now select a scene. When you are ready, click the transition button and the scene that is being recorded will transition to your selected scene. I will do a little demo. First, I'm going to open the Open Broadcaster website full screen to fill the whole display. Now I'll click the Start Recording button. So here we are at obsproject.com where you can download Open Broadcaster software. It is excellent screen capture software, and best of all, it's free. From here, we can download and install the application. Once installed, this is what the interface looks like. After a little bit of experimenting, it's very easy to use. When you are done recording, simply click the Stop Recording button. You will then be able to find and open your video. So here we are at obsproject.com where you can download Open Broadcaster software. It is excellent screen capture software, and best of all, it's free. From here, we can download and install the application. Once installed, this is what the interface looks like. After a little bit of experimenting, it's very easy to use. When you are done recording, simply click the Stop Recording button. Great, so now we know how to configure Open Broadcaster and how to make screencasts. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please check out my website, backuptospeed.com, for more videos and tutorials. Thank you.